Hey BBs, it's Plastic, and today I'm back with y'all for another video. Today's video is super fun as I have the Rainbow High Kashi Ball Robin Sterling doll. I've been wanting this doll for a minute. I've like liked her, I think, when the pictures came out. I think she was fun, but she wasn't one that I really wanted to buy right off the bat. And I'm super happy that I waited because one of my friends on Twitter, Tofu, I'll have them linked in the description if you guys want to check their Twitter out. They found me um, Robin for only $5 at Walmart, and I was super pumped about it. And I was super excited to get this doll for not $37, so really excited to have her in my collection finally. It feels like it's been a minute, but this box is really fun. It's kind of the standard Shadow High costume ball box. She's a special edition, and on the back we have a picture of her and the other BBs from this line. Um, so it's really, really fun. And on the inside, we get to see Miss Robin Sterling and the little, um, I guess, bio for her or whatever. And I'm just so excited about her. She looks so pretty in the box, and I cannot wait really to get her out. So I'm going to do that, and I'll meet you guys in just a minute and out of the box robin sterling is so beyond pretty i am obsessed with this doll we do come with a couple fun things like this rainbow high comb nothing too crazy with it and this little invitation all the costume ball party dolls have been coming with these um they're whatever i don't care about them and we also got this little stand which is in robin's color love that i don't love the rainbow high stands but i'm happy that we do have a stand as this is like a collector doll but this doll is so pretty and so cutesy and la 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 um, I am obsessed. First off, this little crown with Robin is so funny. It's so cute. It's like a spider crown. It's silver and there's like blue. Um, It's not blue paint, but it's like an iridescent blue. So like in the light, it kind of like turns blue. It's a really interesting piece and it's really done like very nicely, I think, in my opinion. Like I feel like you really cannot tell this piece besides like in person. It just looks so magical almost. Her hair is really cool. She has like, I think, eight little twists and mine are sadly kind of messy like over here it's a little bit messy so if i paid full price for this at all i'd be very upset as they don't when they do like the twist like this they cut the hair like after it's being done in the twist so um it gets this kind of clean like straight edge look so when i redo this twist i'll have to make it a little bit shorter as i have to recut it so that'll be a little bit unfortunate because i don't like when my doll's hair is like looks weird um it's a very i don't know how to explain it but um you know, it makes sense. But this hair is very long. It's a nice premium nylon hair. It goes down. And I would honestly love another of this Robin just to keep the hair out of the twists. Hopefully, I can get another one on sale maybe in the future. She's just so beyond pretty. But the twists are done, I guess. I think they just needed some product, to be honest. Because even the one that wasn't messy in the box, it got caught on her um, earring when I was unboxing her. So I think these definitely need some gel or definitely need some mousse or some spray or something. So once I refit do this one, I'm going to probably put some mousse in this hair to keep it a little bit, you know, stronger. Because I feel like it's just a little bit, like, it can just kind of get, you know, messed up really quickly. Which is not the point of this doll. Again, as a collector doll, you want to have make sure the hair is perfect at every time. But besides that, this doll has a beautiful face. Truly amazing. I love her edges. Mine are a little bit weird. I feel like it doesn't fully line up, but I'm not that mad, I guess. And this makeup is so beyond flawless. It's not as, I think, extravagant as the Shadow High Dolls or even as pretty as Bella's was. I think it fits um, Robin. I don't think Robin would ever do a really harsh, dry kind of look like that. But I love the little spider webs in her um, kind of eyeshadow. I think the eyeliner here is also really interesting as it kind of makes her eye a little bit different. Her Honestly, her face looks a little bit small. Like, the eyes look smaller than her OG release, and I'll get her over here just to kind of show like, you Like, I'm not that. sure if they changed the mold up for Robin, but, like, my OG one, this is, like, the first batch release. She has, like, the longer hair, the hair is thicker. There's a couple different changes between the like this robin the sleeve of a robin and like a later batch one but like this first batch one look her eyes look so much bigger than this one and i don't know if that's like a mold because like the jawline also looks a little bit like this looks a little bit more rounder to me personally maybe it's the blush placement i'm not sure exactly maybe it's just the makeup all as well but these eyes look super super small and not super small but like definitely smaller than these ones i feel like the eyes are also just bigger on here um i don't know though the eyes again do look very similar though i think it's the same inset eye but that's just kind of what I've noticed so far. But besides that, she has a really gorgeous brown lip, which I love. I love that it's neutral. I like that it's not like a weird peach. Because I feel like a lot of the collector dolls that have had dark skin recently have been having this really ugly peach color on their lips. And I'm just happy that it looks beautiful. It's nothing crazy. And it just like really works with the makeup. Um, we do also have these really gorgeous um, earrings. These are like little spider earrings. They have the same kind of paint on like the i guess belly of the spider that the crown does which is so pretty it's so effortless and it's so gorgeous before we get into the dress i just want to show you guys robin's gorgeous nails because i don't even think you can see these on camera how detailed these are better than my own nails have ever been ever they have like little like i think these are spiders on them or something but there's a blue acrylic paint with like white on top of it and there's like a little design on them 
which is so crazy how they even did that because like it's not perfect but it's also like mass produced doll like that's insane she does also have a couple rings on her which we have some spider wings we have some spider webs and more another spider over here and these are all separate molds these molds are new to the doll but on to the main event of this doll this is her dress this is like the only thing that she's wearing it's this one piece dress which i'm not mad at because like the little chain details like there's little chains on her shoulders like real chains not plastic it's crazy we do also have this really gorgeous top it's blue and there's like a little like white kind of lace on it and it's really cool there's some sequins kind of see how like the hair gets tangled the sequins are kind of sewed in there i'm gonna be really careful though to not mess up the hair and it's just like it's a spider web effect there's a kind of a two, not a two piece but it's like kind of a two piece it's like a one piece in the back because it connects but um there's this little hoop that connects the top and the bottom and the bottom is this like little like mermaid skirt which this is the only case that i think a mermaid skirt really really works here because um we have this really gorgeous like again like the sequins kind of sewn in so like when you shimmer her in the light they look like look at how magical that looks it's so cool um the kind of mermaid skirt though is really cool it's like a mini skirt here it's like very um blue hello it's very blue and um we have a sweater web sewn on there there are some little um spiders with beads which are really cool i'm happy that they're not glued on and the back does continue the um sequins and the spider web detail which is so crazy cool and once we get down to like the i guess tail of it all we have more spiders um that are kind of sewed in there and more spider webs and i can't get over the sequin because like in the light it looks so beyond pretty it just looks so like glittery and glim glimmy and i love the shape of this tail i think it looks super gorgeous on her it's really pretty and it's like stunning robin's shoes are solidly like a, like an actual lace which i personally hate but um i guess they're good if you know how to tie them i'm just annoyed about tying them but they're really detailed there's lots of kind of holes for them and they are that kind of tiffany blue and in the back i didn't even notice this until getting her out of the box there are little spiders in the heel like i don't know if y'all can see that but these spiders in the heel that is some monster high level type that is crazy cool like and i think they still have that paint from the crown and earrings which is so beyond like, that's crazy to me and that's all that Miss Robin comes with. We don't come with too much in the outfit. I do think the outfit's really nicely done, but it's kind of simple comparing to, like, the other dolls in this wave, especially the Shadow High dolls. I feel like, again, this is a very gorgeous gown. I wish we just got, like, a necklace or, like, a shawl or something for, like, the shoulder um, kind of neck area. I think we're missing a little bit here. Um, but I guess maybe if you just, like, pull it down, I don't know. Um, but I think it's a really nice doll. I think this doll's really cute. Would I necessarily want to pay $37 for her? No, I don't know if that's completely justified. I do think, again, this is a gorgeous doll, nicely done, um, besides the hair. And I just, like, that's my only complaint is really the hair not being, like, sturdy, I guess. Um, and I do, like, like the outfit. I think it's nicely done and nicely constructed, and I am blown away by the shoes. Um, just comparing, though, this to, like, any other Rainbow High doll on, like, the market, I would probably prefer, like, a cheaper alternative. If I had $37, I probably could get two dolls, you know, if you get them on sale or something. But I think this doll is amazing if you guys can find her on a sale or if you guys can get her as a gift or whatever that tea may be. I think she is beautiful and a great addition to any Rainbow High dolls collector's collection. And I cannot wait to add her, again, next to my other dolls. And I just think she's so pretty. Again, the only flaw, I think, is the hair, but... Besides that, I think she's really beyond gorgeous. I'm truly blown away by this doll. And I, again, recommend her on the sale personally. But with that, please let me know in the comments below what you guys think about Miss Spider Sterling. Um, I'm dying to know if you guys have her or not. I also would love to know that as well. Um, but yeah, thank you guys again so, so, so much for watching this video. It was so much fun chatting with you guys. And I can't wait to catch y'all in the next one. I love you all so very much. Have a great night. Bye. Mwah.